Hello and welcome, it's Jilly Cube. I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. About to do a super duper, super duper. You've got to keep positive, <laughs> super duper little acrylic pour. Um, and this is just a nice little canvas. I'm trying to do these little canvases to give us gifts away with the Christmas card or something, you know, around Christmas time to family and friends. It's always nice adding something personal that you've made yourself and it's special um, and you try and choose the right person for the particular colour or vibe that that piece of art has in it. So, you know, get busy people and do some homemade gifts that will be so much more well received because they're given from the heart and something you've created, I believe. So that was just spreading out my base coat and I'm going to do one of these little swipes for a monochromatic background. So um, that was just the white. Now this is the Australian flow trolleys mixed with Amsterdam black and it helps create or it does create these absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous um lacy cells as you see just gorgeous so just taking your time with that i'm just using like um, a soft plastic file divider that I've cut up into those little sections and you kind of uh, just drag well you just put the very tip of your plastic in your soft plastic into the paint and just drag it lightly over the top and you just get these super duper results it's um, it's just it is really lovely just the whole painting on its own Look, look at, look at those beautiful, oh, I've got my big thumb in it, oh, no. sorry about that, oops, look at those beautiful, beautiful lacy cells as a background, can't really complain about that, look at those, that's just with the um, Amsterdam Black and Floetrol. It just creates that straight away lovely, lovely laziness. I just wanted to show you before I carried on much further. So I'm going to pour a little bit of the black there and I'm going to go with... Ugh. This is some of the navy. This is just my ordinary pouring medium. Oops, that's poured all over me. I've got no gloves on and no apron because I, oh dear, I'm in a right mess, goodness. Okay, and I'm going to go with my um, metallic bronze. Metallic, this is my champagne, which is 50% gold, 50% silver. Just go a drop of the navy in there again. I might even put some of the white in. All oh, my dogs are having a lovely old time out there. So this is again the Amsterdam titanium white just with flow troll added. I will go back to the bronze. This is a very simple, easy, beginner's um, pour if you like, like or it's a kind of a pseudo bloom. It creates a bloom, but just with my normal ingredients. So it's gonna all, almost be monochromatic because it's, oh, I haven't added my, a few of the same, similar colors. I wanted to add this antique gold in there too. Probably a bit late now, but there you go. I will do it, do it, do it. Then I get a bit of the black. 
That is just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I'll just add a bit of heat to um, burst in the air bubbles. Dogs come to see me. Puppy dogs. Puppy dog. And now I'm going to get my little baby Bayless and let it do its thing. Oh, wow, wow, wow. That is so good. I'm actually really glad I put that antique gold in there. Look at that. Just really needs a, just with my skewer, I'm gonna define some of the areas. I'll get rid of this bit in a minute. That is just gorgeous. Very simple, a nice little canvas. You can put in a little frame or and they're great to give as gifts, even if you're just giving a bar of chocolate and you give this with the little, it's just a really nice gift. So that is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And I get my little, it's just an ordinary size balloon with a little bit of water in and I like just getting rid of that line here with a bit of, like it looks like little flower bells hanging. Hanging down as you see. Oh, that's nice. That's cute. Very cute. You can even just use your finger in these cells to give a finger kiss, which is just like that. When I bring you down with the camera, you'll see the lovely effect that just dabbing your finger. Can do can it gives these tiny little kisses in there should i try it there oh yeah beautiful 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 it's really lovely just little finger kisses bring you down so you see them that is really cute really lovely colors i've got lovely laces i'm gonna bring you down to have a look at that very simple but very effective. Just look at this. This is so gorgeous with very few colours. So I just push that little balloon into a few of the spots to bring up some more. I think that looks like a fairy dancing there. Oh, it's gorgeous. Look at the colours. Very, very nice. Just that navy with the gold. Um, champagne gold which is 50% gold 50% silver um, the bronze metallic bronze white and that uh, that was the antique gold there in that sort of yellowy one and then um, the white and black cell activator which is just Floetrol mixed with the Amsterdam paint I have a link down below for the products on my Amazon store. But look at those little um, finger kisses. See how sweet they come out. Really gorgeous. How simple is that? You could have a whole painting with just that. It would look so... People like that kind of minimalistic, monochromistic. Is that a word? Monochromistic? And then those little hanging... Oh, I don't know what would you call them look like dancing girls don't they <laughs> but that's very sweet I've done this in all colors I think I did one the other day in all the cherries very delicious and I did one previously in 50 shades of green these are all greens and they turn out lovely and wonderful little gifts all right my lovelies I want to thank you so much for joining me if you haven't subscribed please do so it costs you absolutely nothing and stay safe and keep well until tomorrow bye for now
Hello and welcome to a cube. I'm here on the Sunshine Coast, Queensland, Australia. Now I've got a smaller canvas today because I'm just trying something out. I haven't done this in a, in a, I've done them loads of times before, but I haven't done them in a while. I'm going to do some um, flip cup. I think a flip cup and some chain pulls over a flip cup. So I've put the masking tape on the back of my canvas. It keeps the back of your canvas nice and clean. So if you're selling it after, obviously, or gifting it, it's got a nice clean bottom. So that's nicely prepared, a little canvas so I can give it as a gift. I've got some paints ready, which are, um, purple navy and violet those are going to be for my chain pulls and then i'm going to do a flip cut pour onto this which i guess i need a yeah, that will do that will do for my flip cut pour and i think i want to do the flip cup i need to keep the colors neutral so I'll probably do my flip cup in white and should I go gold, I think. And I think I might go um, champagne gold. So I've got this pre-mixed and it's a mix of 50% gold, 50% silver metallic. So, and I'm running out of white paint. So let's hope that I can get this done. Oh, that's, both of them are running out, but they're nice light colours for my base. So I think they would make a really nice base for this particular piece. Now I've got marbles in here, so I've got to watch me marbles don't come out. Marbles are really good to help when you're shaking your paints in these bottles to help mix them. And then you just watch wash them when they come to the you know end of your oh, I'm watch me marbles don't lose me marbles i think i've already lost me marbles that might be a good idea stop the marbles coming out that's it i get the last of my paint but no marbles I think I might add some um, antique gold. So that's the antique gold. So they're all metallic, so they should all make a lovely sheeny, shiny effect in there. Hopefully, hopefully I don't need much more than that. I'm just thinking what color have I got? I have got a little bit of, it's kind of like a flesh color. So I might put this in and if it will come out. What's nothing's working for me today, you have days like that. Just push on, just get a skewer and poke it in the end. That'll fix it up. That's it. Oh, that is a bit sort of ooh, apricot colour. I don't really like that at all. Never mind. What I'm going to do with this, I'm going to just stir it. One, two, three. Hopefully I've got enough colour here to cover this little canvas. So I might just do like ring. Oh, I don't like that other colour I just put in. Ah, oh, let's go back up there with this. Should have mixed some more white and gold, but I thought it's only a little canvas, so it should be fine. But there you go. Not liking that apricot colour. But it's supposed to be for a base, so fingers crossed. That actually looks quite pretty. Let's get this canvas covered in this little mixture. So just tilting it so it, it covers uh, your canvas nicely. 
I definitely have not got enough paint on here, I don't think, but it's actually turning out. The colours look quite nice together. That's gonna, that will make a good background if I actually have enough to cover my canvas. So I'll try and whiz through these tilty bits. That's it, just tilting your canvas nice and slow. So it covers all the, um, doesn't matter so much on the very edges because you can always just paint those white or one of the colors that you've got in the canvas. Go back down here again that for a nice background it looks like cut stone the actual apricotty color does give it a like a sandstone effect so not too bad at all there you go and just recenter it because i'm going to just finger pop it to cover the rest so it's basically not worrying about the very edges at this point because I can, like I said, I just can paint those white. This is my background for my chain pull. But that is a lovely, lovely background and it definitely looks like a cut stone effect. So happy with that one. Right, yo, let's go, Joe. I'm going to start with it's actually uh, like a, a uh, what you call them? Yeah, just a, a metal ball, balls. I don't know what you call those. <laughs> I don't know. I've got my paint. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just dip my paint, uh, dip my chain in my paint slowly, slowly, slowly. So there you go. So there's my chain in my paint i obviously don't need all of it in because it's not a very large canvas so i'll get the chain out of the paint oh this is a big one this is a big one and do some wiggles wiggle wiggle now pop that down and just slowly, slowly, ooh, look at that. Bring your chain down. Sometimes, oh, that's nice. Sometimes it is nice to let your background dry off a bit. Now, I always keep a cup of water to pop my chain straight into the water because I've got several chains. So if you were reusing the chain again, you obviously just would wipe it off. So I'm gonna go the navy color now. And I might try, this is a smaller one, a smaller chain. So different size, and you can, you can certainly do it with string as well, string pulls. This is chain pulls. So it's just let your chain dingle, dangle in the paint. There's several ways you can do this. You can actually add the paint to the chain while the chain's on the piece of art. But I think I'm doing it the difficult way as usual. No, come round here as if the chain's gonna listen to me. But anyway, gotta to talk to it, aren't you? Rightio, I like to hold the chain in one spot down the bottom. Now let's see what we get with this one. It's always nice having a different background because it, it gives you different effect. That's gorgeous, looks different from the first one. Rightio. Got one more colour here, which is the... I think I did that colour, didn't I? Yeah, no, I've done that one. I'm going to go, this is supposed to be another purple, let's try it, I don't think I'm going to do, it is a bigger chain, a fatter, fatter beads, actually this one's beads, I'm not going to do too much on this because they're much fatter beads, so
which is a similar colour to that one. I didn't want to do loads of colours. That's very nice, very simple, easy to do. I'll turn it around in a second. your skewer if you want to do some little stems off it it's quite easy she says might be nice on the very bottom to just with your balloon you use your balloon as a tool that's pretty that is very pretty I wonder if I now I'm trying something here I might stuff it up oh I hope not I don't want to do that now <laughs> I'll best leave it Look at that, it's a little pretty one. That's your um, your chain pulls. So I believe if, if maybe you leave the base to dry a little bit longer, so it's a little bit tacky, not too tacky, that you might get more defined chain pulls. And so that's something I need to chart. But that's very pretty. It, it almost looks as though they're hand-drawn flowers in there with that lovely background. I think that is definitely one to try, people. Please try it. Um, if you want to show me your work, you can go to my uh, Acrylic Art Facebook page, which is the Australian Acrylic Art Facebook page. The link is down below in the uh, description box below this video, and you can join up after you answer a few questions and you can show your work and get hints and tips of lots of other artists beginners and advanced from there so um please do so that is a bit of a different background i've done it before but i haven't done it for a while so hope you enjoyed that one today please give it a go and let me know how you go and i will be back again tomorrow so take care my lovelies bye for now